If you've ever played Stardew Valley and thought, boy, you know what this could use more of? Homicide, then wow, do I have the mod for you. Because today we're gonna be playing the Sebastian Yandere mod. Oh God, I'm not ready for this. Favorite thing. I think we should call it something that would make Sebastian really jealous. It always takes so long to get anywhere. So I got a brand new mod to go along with it so he can travel faster. It's Healy's. It's a Healy's mod. Hi, Sebastian. I really hope you say something more interesting than just, I don't know you, like you usually do. Out of all the places you can live, chose Pelican Down. This is just his normal dialogue. He didn't start off with anything too creepy. He's just kind of saying hi to us. Maybe we just need him up to two hearts before he actually starts to do anything. Oh, this first... Oh, yeah, of course, there's two hearts. I don't know if this mod actually changes the, like, heart events. Sorry, I had to finish this line before I lost my train of thought. None of this has changed. This is all the same. Did you forget to download the mod? That's what I'm thinking. He's moving now. Where is he going to? I just kind of want to... I want to see where he goes. If Sebastian won't be the underday, maybe I will. Oh, he's heading down to the beach. The ocean is best enjoyed alone. This is just his usual dialogue. This is just... Hey, friends of Sam too. I saw you talking to him. That seems kind of new. He better keep his hands off. He seems kind of jealous. Seb, do you like my Heelys? Yeah, my mom got them for me. You know, did your mom get you anything? <laughs> no? Okay, loser. Bye. What's he going to do to Sam? I feel like Sam could kick his ass. Sebastian. Oh my god, I forgot my name was Sebastian. I forgot I did. You don't think about other guys, do you? Uh, I mean, sometimes, but, but like, mostly Bruce Springsteen. I just like to think about, well, you don't like Bruce Springsteen? What are you, you not a fan of Bruce Springsteen? That would make me jealous. And what would you, what would you do if you were jealous, Seb? Sebastian, has anyone been bothering you recently? You can always tell me. You know how that feels. Oh, he's a depressed yandere. Searching for eggs is like going on a treasure hunt. Yeah, that's why it's called an egg hunt, you freaking loser. Would winning make you happy, Sebastian? I can set things up so that the other contestants will trip. That way, you can take out all the eggs. Pretty nice idea, huh? He's like, I'll kill Abby for you. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll kill her right now if I have to. Either way, I'll be watching you. This dude's willing to kill the kids just for me to win a straw hat. I'll cut off Vincent's leg at the kneecaps if it means you get that straw cap. Oh, look at him. He really is just standing there watching, huh? Wait, you can talk to him. Would winning make you happy? Wait, no, wait, wait, Seb, I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this. I gotta win this egg race. Let's see if we can catch him in bed again, because I thought that was interesting. Sebastian, something amazing happened last night. I dreamt about you. It's pretty cool. I was chasing you for some reason. Oh, it's so weird. He's blushing. He's like a puppy dog. You know when dogs dream of chasing rabbits and they're like, ruff, 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 and they're like twitching in their sleep. Do you think he was doing that? Tomorrow is the worst festival of the year by a mile. Just wait and see how stupid I look during the flower dance. I've just had an idea that would make him look even more stupid. Did you come to ask me to dance with you? Pretty embarrassing, but if you need a partner, of course I'll do anything for you. Simp, simp, simp. Nobody else is allowed to dance with you anyway. What if I actually go, Abigail, do you want to dance with me? Did you see that, Seb? He didn't even get to dance. He got kicked out of the dance. So, Seb, uh, what did you think about the uh, what did you think about the dance yesterday? He he didn't he didn't care. Are you gonna say anything different to me, please? You've made my whole life, my life a whole lot more exciting since you moved here. Did you know that? So thank you. I feel like I have a purpose now. Is the purpose stalking me? He's been a little creepy, but he hasn't really shown any psychopathic tendencies yet. He hasn't tried to stalk us. He hasn't threatened to cut anyone's guts open. Hey, uh, don't tell Sib about this. Actually, do tell Sib about this. It'll make it more interesting. Hey, what are you doing in here? I could have been naked. That, uh... That's why I'm here. Oh, hi, Alex. Sebastian was glaring at me earlier. I have no idea why. I haven't even done anything to that guy. He's just protecting us. He's glaring at Alex, but who have you got in a fight? I don't think Seb's taken that one, you know? Can I ask you a question? Do I scare you, Sebastian? I'm 
so I'm sorry. Just can't help. Trust me. I've tried. <gasps> I can't help not scaring you. You can just say you're not going to assault children over an egg hunt. Oh, hi, Seb. You know, I just came here to give him his pizza. He'll be mad that he's seen us give him a pizza. Is he going to kill Sam? Hi, Seb. What are you doing at the luau? What are you putting in there? Maybe I should poison the soup. Are you going to Kool-Aid this whole village just so you can talk to me? Your cheeks are red. Cute. Now my cheeks are red. Oh my god. <laughs> that shirt on the bed is yours? That's why you're blushing? Uh, must be a coincidence. That one belongs to me. Hey, there's no shirt on his bed. <laughs> what the hell? Not only is he a stalker, he's a liar too. I don't care if you're going to kill Vincent. As long as you're not a liar, Sebastian. Hello, Sam. Have you seen Sebastian? Sorry, I'm a little jumpy today. Why? Well, uh... Last night, I saw Sebastian. He looked so angry. Next thing I knew, we were outside of the saloon. He had my shirt in his fist. He went on about how if I told on him, I'd be in real big trouble. Then he told me to stay away from Sebastian or else I'd be in trouble for that too. Oh my God, he found out about the pizzas I was giving you. Why am I telling you this? I don't know, he's getting violent and I guess I'm scared for you. Hi, Haley. Have you been all right since the picture incident with Sebastian? If you need anything, let me know. Girls have to stick together when it comes to stuff like this. What's the picture incident? Also, I'm a dude. Let's see if we can find out what this picture incident is. Haley, what have you seen? You won't believe what happened today. Sebastian came by and asked to borrow one of my cameras. I wonder what he wants to use it for. I got a weird, I got a weird idea. I know what he wants to use it for, Haley. Hi, Haley. Hey, Sebastian. I should probably tell you something. Oh my God, she looks distraught. Earlier when I saw Sebastian, he dropped this picture. It was a picture of you and it was kind of strange, like a candid shot. Trust me, I know. Wait, you take photos of people too, Haley? Next thing I knew, he called me, begging for the picture back. I've never heard him sound so desperate before. It's really weird, right? He was so scary about it. Why is he keeping pictures of you like some kind of creep anyway? Oh, look, she's raging. Ew, you're all dirty. She's, she's. I'm really concerned about you. Someone's taking photos of you without your permission you dirty fucking animal wanna go into the maze together i protect you from anything that's in there i even brought a knife so you'll be completely safe with me i can use it on the other guys too if you want you know just as a suggestion i could maybe you know if you want me to i could i could i could stab sam in the throat if you want me to maybe i'm thankful for you sebastian i love you so much you should come over later tonight then i can show you just how much i love you <coughs> Oh, Jesus. Oh, Ooh. see you then. Feels like Seb has completely cut contact with me. He hasn't talked to me in weeks. I saw him a little while ago. He just ignored me and kept walking. I heard him say your name. Oh my God, that's so romantic, Seb. Did you know I saw Sebastian outside of the house? Outside my house the other night? Wait, Abigail, what were you doing outside my house there too? Are you guys dating or something? It was late. It was kind of fun to watch though. So Sebastian was stalking me and then Abigail was stalking Sebastian. And then what? Was the wizard stalking Abigail? Pierre, is your daughter in? Sebastian was talking to me about his knife collection earlier. Don't get me wrong. I like knives and stuff, but he's never really had an interest in this stuff before. It was kind of weird. Well, that seems like something you'll have to deal with. Skrr. Sebastian, please say something interesting to me. Is it Okay, if I hold your hand, Sebastian. It's just him being cute. It's not creepy at all. Sebastian has been leaving Sam and I completely in the dark lately. Well, I think he just tried to beat the shit out of Sam before, Abigail. He doesn't want to hang out and we almost never see him around. We did once, but it was in a weird place. Where? Not to scare you, but I think he was following you. When we told him you were going into the mines later, we saw him in the entrance behind some bush with a knife. And it freaks me out. Is he wanting to kill me or them for stalking me? Let's just get married. Wow, we're husbands. It feels good not having to go outside for once. We don't, why don't you stay in too? I can think of a few things we can do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Brock seems to like you a lot, Sebastian. It's cute. I love cats. They're so independent. Ah, oh, me too, King. Random, but maybe I could coax you into wearing a collar for me one of these days? Ha uh ha. -huh. I 
think I'm gonna take this off now. I'm glad you're fine after last night. You passed out in the middle while we're in the middle. I don't know if I want to click on what the next dialogue is. Anything? Fuck. I was about to get demonetized just then. Hi, Sam. Sebastian, I really, really don't think I should be talking to you anymore. Yesterday, Seb started chasing me like a maniac, knife in hand, shouting and everything. He was really fast. Eventually, he got to me. I tried fighting back, but it was pretty useless since he had a knife. Did he stab you? For me? He was all like, I told you to stay away from Sebastian. His eyes were so messed up, too. He told me it was my final warning, or I was done for. So, Sebastian, I'm gonna have to stop talking to you now. I value my life too much. I'm sorry. From now on, I won't tell you any more about this. I'll just try to act normal. See you. I guess he doesn't really value his life that much. Don't talk to me anymore. If Seb sees us, he's gonna kill me. I feel like I have a higher proportion of videos where Sam is dead. Should we divorce Sebastian? Should we see what happens when we divorce him? Oh, Sam, what are you doing? If he sees you here, he's gonna kill you. Also, they still play in a band together? I'll see you later. I love you. Stay safe. And if you need me, just call my name. What are you, a fucking werewolf? Are you like Edward Cullen? Personally, he's not clingy enough for me, so, uh, he's out. Seb, you don't know what's about to hit you tomorrow. Oh, he's gone. Maybe we've just turned him into our worst enemy. Hi, Seb. It's funny running into you again, you know? Speak to me, Seb. Speak to me. You're gonna regret this, Sebastian. What? Get out of your sight. That's easy. All I have to do is get rid of your pretty eyes, oh, Sebastian. Don't worry. I'll take good care of them. Oh, so now he starts being creepy. 